When you view the Dropbox submissions, there are two tabs, Users tab and Files tab. This tutorial will deal with the Files tab. The Files tab of the Dropbox submissions by default displays only those students who have files submitted to the Dropbox. You can use this tab to search for a specific file and or search uh, results on other criteria besides the default display. To get to your submission results, click on the Submission Review tab on the navbar, click Dropboxes. Click on the name of the Dropbox you want to view the submissions. You'll be on the Users tab, which by default shows the users who have submitted the files to the Dropbox. Click on the Files tab. If you wish to search for a specific file name, enter some keywords in the Search for text field. So this is not searching for users, this is searching for specific files. So if a student has submitted a specific file and you kind of know the name and they give you the name, you're not sure where it is, you can go to the Files tab and you don't have to type in the whole file name, just do some, uh, <clears throat> some keywords and click on the search icon and if it gives you some results, it'll tell you the search results and it'll show you the file there and it'll filter your results. It's very important to click uh, clear search because my courses will remember the search the next time you view the submissions. You can also filter the search for a file submitted by the following. You can look for files that were submissions after a specific date. So if I want to see did any students submit any files after the 23rd for example and I click on the search icon and if there were it'll filter it and show me that specific date. Again, clear search if you want. You could check box submissions before and again if I want to look to see anybody that submitted before the 22nd and I can do a search and again these are files and I can see that there's nothing there and then clear search. You can also search for late submissions and late submissions are when the file if you used a due date if you used an end date, there will be no file submissions because the students cannot submit after an end date. Again, click on the search icon. If anything comes back, you'll see the results. In this case, there's zero search results. You can also um, base your search results on uh, choosing one of the choices in the read status dropdown. So in the read status, I can show red files. Those are results will display files that have been marked as red. So if I click that, these files have been marked as red. Again, clear the search. I can then also search for any unread files and do the search for that. And again, these are files that have been unread. Again, clear search. The last drop-down list is the flag status and you can Read, filter your search on files that with flags. So if you have flagged a specific file, uh, that file will show up in the results. If you have not flagged any files or um, want to look at all files that are not flagged, you'll see those results too. Again, clear the search when you're done. To return to the folder list, click on the folder list breadcrumb links.